Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Gavi Gaming TV in EverQuest next to Landmark. Uh, just a quick video here to show you around my claim so far. Uh, not finished yet, I've still got some exterior decorative stuff to play around with and whatnot, but you know, the foundation of it is basically done. This is the crafting area. See there, I've got an, uh, a Manthrine Forge. Uh, I think, yep, that's the ruby site workbench. Still the bog standard lobby uh, sifter. I'm attempting to get the wood for that in a minute. Uh, I've got a cobalt reinforced saw table. Now the sifter needs like two, uh, 100 uh, boiled wood logs. And that's a lot of trees. I'm going to cut down for that 240 trees ish, I've worked out. So it's going to take a while. So you've got to be sink over there to. Wash your hands when you've been toiling around. A couple of bits and bytes lying around, you know, just to make it feel used. And then underneath, if we go down here, a little underground area which I haven't really utilised yet. Um, just got my uh, thing we jig in the corner there. My vault thing. With old bits and bats on it that, um, that I've made and I can't get rid of yet. Uh, the cool painted table, I actually like that table because of the paint design in the middle, it's really really cool. A large barrel which looks like it could do some damage if you fall against it. I'd be good for throwing at people I suppose. As you can see the sifter comes through underneath it which is actually wrong, that animation should be on top of the sifter. Um, close them up there, no one really needs to do that because you can run through them but Spells the immersion. As you see, the sifting animation is underneath it, which it shouldn't be, it should be on top. Um, let's just try picking it up and put it down again, see if that actually fixes it. I never tried that. No, it doesn't. Right, well, that's one thing we're going to have to look It was working right beforehand, but that last patch must have goofed it a wee bit and put it below, but hey, hey. Um, I have a couple of lights up there which light up this area quite nicely. Uh, the roof was a trial of um, what one guy had done on the forums there. And it works to a certain extent. Not awesomely, but it's still good enough for now. Well, if we go into the main building, let's close the doors behind you. Uh, still work in progress in here gone for that Chinese courtyard sort of feel, you know, a nice relaxed garden in the middle to to chill out and I'm going to put some chairs and whatnot in here at some point and just mess around. So we've got a simple design going all the way around and up the stairs. Um, these wall, well these walls at the side, left and right, I'm probably going to put a design in them. I don't know what yet. These back ones are part of the room, so I don't know if I'll do anything with them as yet. As you see, these rooms are fairly empty and bland at the minute. I've not got anything in here. So I've been trying to get my working stations finished before I start doing a major detail in these houses, in this house like. It's, everything's sort of oriental style, so you know, low down on the floor for seating and whatnot. Um, upstairs, is again very simple still. It's just all blended, and I might lob off a corner for that part at least, and try and blend it in a bit more. Um, again, the room on the other side there is exactly the same. And it's more or less the same over here as well, so no beds in here yet. I'll go outside again. Got these new obelisks that they've just put in. Uh, we're in the last patch, which is pretty cool. I quite like them. They don't, that's as small as they go, so they don't go as small as I thought they would. So I've ended up using them outside, I was going to use them inside, but uh, as that's as tiny as they go then, 
So we've used them for. Again, simple design on the fence. Run around to the back's fairly plain and boring. So I still need to do some design work probably on that. On the roof, slight knobbly design on there. And then the flags are centered. Same on both sides. I basically made this um, just floating in the air by blocks, smoothed it down, and then attached it to the ends. And when I attached it, that's uh, what I got. There's a slight bend in the roof there, so <laughs> it does goof it a little bit when you attach it. But ach, you know what can I say? Alpha things have been worked on. That side hasn't really bent out as much. I don't know. Why that has. But at night time, obviously there's four lights around there and it's pretty bright. Lighting there, the two lights down here. Again, I've still got to do lighting outside, lighting down below under this thing. But, uh, nah, it's getting there. Um, I wish this grass would grow on this grass because this just looks bad. <laughs> that just looks like a bad texture compared to when you've got this grass here, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, really nice, natural looking, and then you come up here and it's bleh, like you've painted the grass on. So it would be nice if that would actually regrow through. Because I've had to cut, obviously, as you can see, a wee bit out of this mountain. And the trees are growing further and further away from me around here because I keep hacking them down with the need for all the burled wood. And as you can see, I've got tons of stone in here. I'm only on 707 bird wood and I need about 6,000. Well, maybe a few less, maybe about 4,000 bird wood. I've already got 29 there and I want 100. So, and I've made 1,500 plain wood just to get it out of my bag because I had loads and loads of wood. But it's fun, you know. I've seen some amazing designs so far. This is all I've had time to build. Um, you know, I've not had loads and loads of time to play around, but from what I've built, it's pretty cool. I'm loving how it works so far. Uh, your imagination really is the limit here. You know, you can build whatever you want. There's some amazing designs around the world. Um, there's not many on this because I'm on a European server. So, as you can see, it is fairly empty. For an EU for an EU server, uh, the US server is bunged all the way out to the, the sides there. But I moved to this just to try and get a bit of a better ping. Um, so I went from like a 200 ms down to a 54 ms. But I also moved to an EU server because it was a good land. You can see down here, there's some good land here you can build on. Look, it's into the mountainside. See mines over here. knock off the thing. So there's my build. It's 3D mapping by the way, it's pretty cool, I do like it a lot. So if you zoom out and look at places you can go, you've got some good mountain area here you can build if you wanted, some good here, some good green areas here, again some cracking land out here as well, some around here, and I'm on um, Highland, I can't remember which EU server I'm on though. This is a tier 3 map. So, you know, there's plenty of decent land on this one. And some of the other ones are really handy. We can zoom in and have a nosy at what people are knocking on. I have no clue what that is. There's a lot of people just experimenting and playing around. I think that's quite a nice build when you get actual, actually there to it. It's quite a cool one. There are some nice builds knocking about on the EU servers. Um, again, I've not really adventured that much on this server yet because everything I need is around me. Loads of trees and forest here. Quick jaunt over the hill. And I've got loads of ores and minerals in this desert area. So I'm in a prime location here for everything that I need.
There's another one that's probably pretty good whenever you actually go and have a look at it, but I think it's just giving me a rough guess with it being the you know the zoom in map that I'm using. So guys, that's a very quick tour around my claim. I hope you like it. Uh, this is my second claim that I've had to build because my first claim wouldn't go back down here once I'd cleared the land for it. Um, some sort of template bug, I don't know what is wrong with it, but I cannot place my original claim back down, which I'd really liked, and it was a, a full-on Chinese courtyard or martial arts training school, and I really liked it, but this is what I've built now. And no doubt I will probably end up building something else at some point shortly um, because it has been really fun building just letting my imagination roll with it I haven't really got much of an imagination as you can see but eh, it's getting there I just need uh, more time with the tools to have a play with a smoothing tool and a line tool I mean, I've got the roof at two different angles with the line tool so I need to have a play with it to see if I can do something else that I'm after doing better than what it's done like that if I can use, utilize the line tool and tinker with it then I'll see what I can build and design after that but no it's, it's, uh, it's fun and there are some amazing designs out there if you haven't uh, already got it Trailblazer packs and that are still available if you go to the SOE website uh, and the EverQuest Next Landmark website packs are still available to get yourselves into Alpha uh, so yeah Go and have a look guys, thanks for watching, see you soon.